Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the comfort of my backyard. I want to thank all my supporters this year, my new and my old. I wouldn't be where I'm at without you. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your December 25th through December 31st weekly love reading. Now this is intended to be a love reading, we will see what comes up. I have to remind you that this is not a private reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. And I will focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. We'll turn a light on too to see because it seems like it's a little dark. Let me just turn this light on real quick. There we go. <laughs> Looks like somebody's forgotten about all the resources they have inside of them. Okay? Or they've forgotten about the resources that they have available to them. Alright? We have the magician uh, reversed. Okay? That tells me that there's resources that aren't being used. They aren't being utilized. Okay? For some reason, I, I, there's lack of compassion for yourselves right here. Somebody is probably feeling guilty for something that they don't need to feel guilty about. You absolutely need to have compassion for yourself. There's no reason to feel guilty for anything. Everything happens for a reason. There may be some depression. There could be a withdrawal. You may be feeling withdrawn from, you know, uh, participating in the, in the holiday magic. You know, you may be feeling withdrawn feeling guilty because you're not happy you're moving out of this situation anyway you know you may be feeling like you know I'm starting over I don't even know why I'm here you know I don't even know why I'm, I'm doing this you know that's what I feel it's like there's a lack of, of happiness at this moment <laughs> I feel like there's some depression maybe there's even some overwhelming emotions you might be going through because change is on the horizon you know that it is um, you know, I see togetherness, you know, it is a period of togetherness, of communication, getting together with family, whatever, and you may be feeling like, uh, you know, I have to put on a face for this because I'm not really wanting to be here, you know, that kind of thing. It feels like, um, you're, you're projecting yourself to be very calm and tranquil but deep down inside you're hurting i see hurt inside that because i feel like you you know you're faking it during this last week you're faking your happiness when the fact of the matter is you're not happy with the situation at all um i see some inner conflicts but you're handling it quite well i mean you're keeping it together but deep down I feel like there's an unhappy feeling and I'd have to tell you you really need to have compassion for yourself you know everything happens for a reason and it always takes two it's never just one person so I just need to remind you of that that it does take two um, anyway um, I see there's just a lack of 
of wish fulfillment. You know, you're not happy with this situation that you're in and I think you're close to leaving it. You're cl close to starting over. So it's like, yeah, it's the holidays. I'm just gonna fake it, pretend everything's all good when it's really not. You know, I feel like there could be some, there's inner conflicts. That's all there is to it. Um, it feels like you are going to be moving in a different direction very, very soon if you haven't already. I feel like things are happening very quickly at the end of the week, you know, after Christmas. I feel like things are going to start happening and you are going to start to be start to feel more stable and secure with your thoughts, with your actions. But right now you're just you're just faking that you're happy, but by the end of the week you're not. You're like, "Okay, now I can now I don't and I can take this mask off. You know, now I can take this this blindfold off, this mask off and just go back about what I was going to do. Freedom, freedom. I was getting ready to free myself, but I just had to get through this holiday season. You know, so it feels like freedom is upon you, that many of you are freeing yourself from something that was toxic. It's like, you know what, I'm ready to go, I'm heading out, and, you know, it's over now, so thank you very much. Anyway, um, no more. <clears throat> no more juggling. No more. I'm not playing this game anymore. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Okay, I'm, I'm ready to start something new right now. You know at the beginning of the week towards Christmas time It's like you're stuck. You got to get through this by the end of the week. It's like whoo Shit, I'm so glad that's over. You know, that's what I feel I feel like the balance starts to come back you start right now You're giving right now. You're giving to your family, whatever. You're just giving them parts of you that you know aren't even there really, you know, you're just pretending but I feel like towards the end of the week you have this big relief that the holidays are over and you can actually work on this freedom that you've been trying to get to, okay? I feel like um, there's been some manipulation, there's been some lies, you've been in a toxic situation and you're moving out of it. You are moving out of it very quickly. So that's what I see. But I have to remind you with that magician reversed that you do have resources if you have forgotten okay you do so don't don't forget that you have resources within you to get through this i feel like you're feeling guilty and there's nothing to feel guilty about okay there's nothing to feel guilty about everything happens for a reason remember that okay as above so below everything happens for a reason You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Capricorn, um, a Gemini, Aries, which is you. That's what I see so far. You might be dealing with a Taurus as well. Yeah, you're holding it in. You're holding it in. There's something that you want to spit out or that you, you know, that you would like to say or you're taking the blame for something or you're not taking the blame or you're just holding in your thoughts. You're not speaking about it. I see withdrawal, I see, um, you know, silence, like you're just keeping silent when you really like to speak up. Perhaps a secret is about to be revealed that hasn't been, or you know there's a secret that's going to be revealed. Um, there is a divine connection here, and I'm not sure if it's you or somebody you're dealing with, but I tend to think it's you, okay? I think that, what, that you have a divine connection. Um, that your inner guide is trying to tell you something, listen to it. It will come via your thoughts or your dreams. If you are having some dreams at this time, pay attention to them and um, try to write them down in the morning or if they may come in thoughts. I believe that you are getting some messages via your, you know, your thoughts. That's your inner guide trying to tell you something. Um, listen. Listen to your inner guide and, and trust your intuition, please. And remember that the script has already been written. When the Empress, when the High Empress, when the High Priestess card comes up in a reading, it says that the script has already been written. And I see guilt here, so I really want to tell you do not be guilty. Don't feel guilty. Like I said earlier, and I, this, I repeat myself because the message keeps coming through. What's meant to be is meant to be. What isn't meant to be isn't meant to be. You can't change the script. 
okay? The thing is, is that if you were to stay in this predicament, you would only have regrets. It's time to move on. It's time to move on. It's time to see what else is out there. It's time to fulfill your wishes. It's time for you to be content. It's time for you to be happy. Okay? It is. You could be attending some kind of gathering um, at the end of this or during this week. Obviously, it's the holiday week. This is a gathering where, you know, people are coming together. You know, and you should go. If you get invited, go. Or you will regret it. Okay? Just go. Just go. You know, and, you know, you are just... It feels like there's some kind of mask that's being worn here. There's some kind of mask. There's some kind of um, lack of wish fulfillment. There's lack. You're unhappy. You're unhappy. There's lack, and you are self deceit. You're deceiving yourself. You're deceiving yourself by feeling guilty. You don't, I, I see a lot of guilt, and I'm sorry that I keep repeating myself, but it's like you've been waiting for something to come to fruition. You've been waiting for something to happen, and it's just not happening, and it's like, what the hell, man? It's like, what the hell? When are my wishes going to be fulfilled? When am I going to heal from this, this situation? And it feels like you've been asking, asking your guides, your angels, something like that, asking somebody, please, please, I need to heal. I need your help. When is this going to happen? And I feel like, you know, it is going to happen. It looks like you are going to start to see your rewards, okay? Your rewards should start coming in. And I think that's going to be towards the end of the week because you're going to be able to start thinking positive again. The holidays are going to be over and I think your spirits are going to be up. I think right now your spirits are down because you have on this mask that everything is okay when everything is not. But towards the end of the week, you can take the mask off and go back to being yourself again. And that's going to be a huge relief, okay? So I feel like it's it's really a time of renewal for you. But right now, you just can't let yourself go there because you have to, like, entertain. It's like you have to entertain people. I see, you know, that's what it looks like. That, But it's fake. It's a fake entertainment. It's like you're having to pretend everything's okay when everything's not and it feels like you just have to have faith because by the end of the week you're going to start to feel more free again all right you're going to start to be able to work on your personal freedom again um It just, it really feels like your ships are going to come in. You know, your ships are going to come in. What you've been waiting for is going to happen. You just have to keep having faith and keep heading in that direction. And remember to love yourself along the way. Love yourself along the way. Oh my gosh. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. What does that mean? Does it mean that's where you're headed? Maybe that's what you're wishing for? Because this is a wish underneath it. But right now it's not happening because you're not using all your resources. You're not seeing the truth. You're feeling guilty about doing whatever you're doing. But it does lead to true love. So stay on the path. I think that you're headed in that direction. But I do see that you need to free yourself to get here. You need to free yourself from something that no longer serves you to get here. And it's going to take work and it's going to take patience and it's going to take time to get here. It's not going to happen overnight. This is the outcome. Okay? Patience. Faith. Have faith. Have faith and trust that this is going to work out in your favor. Whatever you're doing is the right thing. Okay? Do not feel guilty. 
No, oh, that's probably why you feel guilty. Children, your love life is being affected by children. And this is part of the issue for many, many, many of you watching this. You feel guilty. It has to do with your children. Like you're messing something up. But you're not. You're not. Remember, I said the script has already been written for you and them. You have to free yourself from this situation that doesn't serve you. It brings you down. It's not true. It's not true love. It's not true love. True love is in your future. It's when you start over. But you haven't started over yet. It's close. It's really close. Don't have regrets. Your children are going to be okay. Your children are going to be okay. And I say that because if this was upright, then, you know, here it tells me you're going to be okay because it's reversed. They are. They're going to be fine. They've been nurtured. They've been nurtured. They've been, they've learned. They're strong. Your children are, don't worry about them. Okay? Oh, you need to love yourself. You need to show them what love is. You're a role model for them. <coughs> Sorry. Hi Aries, this is Jennifer again. I had to push pause and I did finish up your reading but the darn thing didn't record. So I'm going to finish it up right now. I was ending that with uh, for you about your children, okay? And for you not to worry about your children, that they're going to be okay. You know, if, it, if this has to do with children and you guys are wanting to get free. Um, I just wanted to throw it out there that, you know, everything that happens for a reading during one of my readings is for you, okay? So, um, that dog barking like that, it was a shake-up. It was a shake-up. It happened just like that, okay? It happened just like that. And it was over just like that. So, it was quick. It was over just like that. And everything was back to being calm and peaceful, okay? So, take that as the message, okay? If you've watched my readings in the past, you will see that this has happened many, many, many times. Not there's the dog. We've had all kinds of things happen during my readings, and it's always for the group, you know, the client or the private reading, whatever, the group, whatever. Okay. So that message right there was something is going to happen. Okay. You're going to make a call. You're going to make a call. And you're probably going to free yourself from something. And it's going to shake things up. But it's only going to be for a minute. Okay. It's going to shake things up for a minute. And a minute is like, you know, it could be a little while. All right. But then it's going gonna, it's gonna to go back to peace and calm and happiness just like that. Okay? So keep going. Get yourself free. Don't feel guilty. Just do what you have to do. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I wish you the best. Talk to you later.